West Virginia at Villanova. You know, you know when someone's hardcore when it's Super Bowl weekend and you're breaking down West Virginia college basketball. But remember, that's where the money is, these, these obscure games oftentimes. So, Marco, we're breaking this down wise guy style is what we call this. We don't, we're taping this on Thursday. The number's not out yet. But like a true wise guy, you're, you're breaking the game down before the number comes out so you can react to the number. So first question, what do you see the number coming out on this game? I see Villanova is going to be a five or five and a half point favorite is the territory I have the game. And when we handicap in advance like this, RJ, we're going to rely a lot on situational handicapping, which is a very major part of my daily handicapping. But I get to showcase that or show it off, so to speak, on when we do these games in advance. Awesome. So assuming the line at five and a half, who do you like and why? Well, I like Villanova in this game, and here's the reason. Villanova, they opened the season winning 16 of their first 17 games. Then they had a four-game stretch where they lost three out of four, and that was their most recent run. Three of those games were road games, at Connecticut, at Syracuse, and at Providence. Those are three tough places to play. They did win the middle game at Syracuse, and Syracuse was in the middle of a mini four-game losing streak at the time. Villanova returned home earlier this week, Tuesday or Wednesday, and they got a win against Georgetown, but it was a, you know, a win, or excuse me, they returned home and lost to Georgetown. Then they followed that up with a win and no cover to Marquette. Now, this is the situation that I'm going to talk about. When you have a good team that Villanova is, when they have that mini slide, I look for the team to have what is called a buffer game. They had their buffer game against Marquette, where they won but just barely won. Good teams, after they finally get the monkey off their back from a mini slide and have a win but not a great performance, generally will follow that up with a major effort. And that's going to be this Saturday's game. Okay, so let's slow down. You threw a lot of data at us. You've got a good team mm -hmm. that's having, as you say, a mini slide. And then what I would think as a handicapper is they're as focused as possible to try to break that slide. So you're saying in this buffer game, the assumption is they're fully focused. But, go ahead. But as you know that whenever you're in a losing streak, it has like a snowball effect sometimes, how things just don't go well for you, that getting that one win, even though it wasn't an impressive so win, seem stopped to be, it. Things seem to be going against you. You get the win. It doesn't look great, but you got the monkey off your back. Exactly. And then instead of thinking, oh, well, we can let, let down because we finally won, it's like, no, we got lucky to win. Now it's time to really start a, a winning streak. Exactly. And because of the, the losing streak, that close win, we get value in the line because public perception is loser, not Loser, loser, loser. Oh, they got lucky. Exactly. All right, so it's a combination. So you have the fo what the losing streak gives you is the focus mm -hmm. and value because exactly. the public's down. And what the win gives you is it doesn't really take away from the focus and value because it didn't look impressive. But what you have is you, you, you still have the, fo you have the focus, but you also have a sense of, oh, we can take a breath and really perform. It, it's the momentum changer in the right direction to me. That's interesting. Okay. So, um, all right, so give us your projection. My projection here is Villanova will win this game 74-65. We are going to go ahead and make it our best bet of the week. Take Villanova minus the points over West Virginia on Saturday. It's an early game Saturday, so you get to start the weekend off with a winner. I know you're a Pittsburgh guy, but did you actually live in West Virginia or live in Pennsylvania? No, I lived in uh, Pennsylvania. How close were you to the border? Um, not as close as you. <laughs> That's a good point. All right, so here, here's my question, though. You're, you're, you're really world famous on the Internet now for your Pittsburgh. What's your Pittsburgh record at this point? 16-4 uh, and four since September. Well, Super Bowl, I'm excited to see what you, who you pick. <laughs> but, but the fact of the matter is you focus because you spent 45-plus years back in that area. Is West Virginia sort of, sort of in that next circle of it focus? Would, it would be in the next you know, level because obviously playing in the Big East, they're going to come in and play Pitt you know, all the time. And, of course, one of the biggest rivalries in my neck of the woods is the backyard brawl. So we follow West Virginia a little bit. Any closing thoughts? 
good game. Excited about the weekend, and let's just keep them rolling. All right, guys, it's your turn to continue the conversation, the comments section with Marco and me, and we'll be back with even more videos for the big Super Bowl weekend.